off the light again, and hello, it's Fo, and welcome back to Turbine City. Last time we'd uh, zoned a lot of offices to replace some of our specialist industry that wasn't working properly, and to help uh, line our noisier buildings around our international airport and stuff. Let it run for a bit. We've got a notification suggesting that maybe all our industrial stuff has grown in. You can see there's still a few gaps for the offices along here. So they're not uh, quite finished growing in yet, but they're on the way. Some more death care in here. Just another set. A graveyard and a crematorium somewhere. Since we're going to be putting in more houses, just make sure that we've got uh, adequate services. So I think the plan for today is to swim this area with our specialist district. I think our offices have come in enough that they're going to serve the purpose of uh, buffering the noise. This spaces that we've got, we're going to fill up with the uh, mainly residential. Probably get closer to the 600,000 population if we get all that filled in. So we're going to use the subscribe to all button here in the styles. And that's going to hopefully download all the assets that go with the British UK style. When we create that district and get it zoned, hopefully these assets will grow in. I'm going to turn off this uh, prop that we don't need for the spiral car park. Our asset list, you can tell by the tiny little scroll thing at the side, that we've got heaps and heaps of these uh, UK assets. A lot of them seem to be low residential. Hopefully we've got some high density residential in there as well. We've got uh, a mix of high density and low density commercial premises. That's good. Oh, I've got my own work here. I can place my own workplace. That's good. That excites me a little bit. So we're going to paint in the district. It's going to be Highland Heights. We've got to change it over afterwards. I've got a friend called Highlander. Get that changed to, for him. So I'm getting a warning. And basically, I let it run after getting that warning. And I did some zoning. And it grew in for a bit. And it ran for about five minutes. And then it crashed. So unfortunately, because it's missing a few of the assets. It could be that they weren't included when I hit subscribe to all. Maybe that list didn't include a few of the buildings that had been added uh, later on after that list was uh, created. Or it could be that the assets themselves have been deleted. If somebody makes a collection on the workshop that uh, has a whole bunch of assets in it, if those individual asset creators remove the asset for whatever reason, it obviously disappears from your list. And it could cause an error if you're trying to load something that includes it in a list. So we're going to resort to popping things in manually using plot the growables and find it. Get one of everything in basically. You can see how many assets there are. Seems to be quite a variety, so that's something. Hopefully, if we can pop them in, obviously, we have them as assets. I don't 
don't think uh, Find It is gonna list things that we don't actually have, but we're supposed to have. So I think this is a safer way of getting all these uh, UK assets in. And sort of creating this area ourselves. It doesn't have any high density residential at all. That's the kicker. I don't really want to put these on the large roads. If it's low density, I want to keep it on the small roads. Obviously we need to rotate them so the houses are on the street. Unless we create another street up the sides. Doesn't seem uh, right. I'll get that moved afterwards. But yeah, on the small roads get all this uh, low density stuff in. I'll put in one or two of each thing and then we can uh, see which ones we like. If we like uh, some a lot more than others we can use them more frequently. That's the thing about downloading assets, you know. Pop them all in and then decide which ones you like turn off ones you don't want to use. It's good to have uh, a variety of things. Keeps it interesting. I've seen these uh, UK buildings on various sort of asset review videos and things like that. They always look good. They've always appealed to me but I've never gone for it before. At least there's a variety of sizes and styles. And they're all fairly modular. But like these corners work with the terrace buildings. So it all looks like it was planned. And each one of them has a sort of variety. The back garden is different, a slightly different style. Different props and things in the gardens. fill up as much as we can. I think along these uh, larger roads we can still use plot the growables. But we'll just pick from the list of high density buildings we do have. It just won't be UK ones. That's fine, it'll be an interesting area. It does take longer, obviously, to pop in the buildings manually rather than just uh, zoning it and letting it come through. As I say, I tried that and it crashed. I think that's two or three crashes we're up to now. It's to be expected when you're using uh, loads of mods. Especially mods that I haven't used before. Some of them might be buggier than others. So we've got a variety of different sizes which is good. So we'll get the... These ones are three squares wide. Slightly larger. We'll take up a bit more space with them. of an area we want to fill in. We can always trim back the district. Maybe if we fill up uh, the strip. I'm not going to fill up the entire district that uh, we made. I don't think we need to. I think that would take uh, forever as well. range of assets. I'm going through all these uh, low density buildings, low density residential and still haven't reached the end of the list yet. So 
Fair play, there is a, a lot to choose from. I would prefer if I could uh, find a district that has uh, low density and high density, residential and commercial. Because really that's what it, uh, you need for a full area. With our Chinatown district only having the high density residential buildings in it. We have a mixture of uh, UK and Chinatown. Bit of a strange mixture, but as far as uh, the custom districts are going, that's what we've got. Workshop content, you know, it's trial and error. You have to try it to find out if it works. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it crashes your game. These things happen. That's why it's uh, important to save often, especially when you're trying out uh, mods that you haven't done before. Yeah, it's you know more than one crash per episode. I might try and look at the mods we've got on and try and reduce some of them. Like our cinematic camera and things like that, it's nice, but maybe we could do without it. Turn things off until it's uh, more stable. Yeah, a crash once per episode, I can accept. I'll just go back, save it more frequently so I'm not losing a couple hours worth of work. If I'm losing less than half an hour's work, it's uh, not the end of the world. So I'm gonna get all this in while the game's paused. And then right at the end I'll unpause it. And hopefully our population growth number is gonna shoot up. I've got the theory that uh, putting in houses, when houses grow in and they're empty, that's gonna increase the number and get our growth rate up. The demand master up means that people want to move in but there's not houses for them. Pop in all these houses and they're all empty. I think that number is going to shoot up. We're going to get people flooding in to occupy the houses. I think empty houses is what uh, brings in the people than people coming in and demanding the house is built. So we'll have a look at uh, what we've got in the high density stuff. We'll get this along our medium and large roads. We'll get some of the corner buildings on the corners. And we're going to mix it up, use uh, a whole bunch of different things, good range of assets. Again, you can use the thing on the side, the filters, if you wanted to only use 4x4s and have the biggest assets. I'll cut down on the amount of time that it would take to pop everything in. get a less variety of things. So there's only going to be so many 4x4s. Obviously we don't want to waste our time with the little ones. One by anything. things. We can go 
go for a mix of things. Twos, threes and fours. And if we get this sort of strip, sort of half of what we can set out in the first place. And we just have the normal zone in. We can trim back the district. Have a normal zone in all down this side. So yeah, I'll probably take us the rest of the episode. Just to get all this popped in. Get it set up. And then we can let it run. And watch your numbers jump up as people flood in. So hopefully when all these people come in we get more zone in across the other side of the river to fill out that tile in Sports Monkey Heights and that'll get us closer up to the 600,000 mark I'm not really aiming for it but I think it's uh, inevitable but we're going to Get past there. Like I've said, previous playthroughs that I've done, I haven't had to fit in so many DLC assets, but I've had a, a similar playstyle and a similar setup. In those cities, it's usually up to 600 or 700,000 before the game's completely fallen apart and I've given up on it and started again rather than trying so hard with mods to try and rebalance it out and fix it and get it all to work properly I'm going to keep a barrier of uh, low density commercial here to help block the noise just in case the offices uh, aren't going to do enough Got the central park and stuff. Don't want the uh, noise from there to leak over into the housing. And down the sand, we can get this all filled in as well. With commercial stuff. Reinforce that barrier. any old commercial assets again just try and get one one of everything in and look for specific sizes if we've got little gaps we want to fill things in you can also look at different levels of buildings Obviously if you put in a level 1 building and it levels up it's going to change the look. So if you're really into the detailing and you really like a building, you should pop it in at uh, maximum level. You can also click on it and uh, use the option to make it historic. And that uh, means that the building won't change. It'll level up, but the actual look of the building won't change. Sometimes when your buildings level up, they lose the look that you like. So you can always make them historic to stop that happening. But yeah, I like to get one of everything in to start off with. And see what I like, what I don't like. bunch of things in. Try and go through all these uh, high density buildings. Get this area all filled out. You can all 
it was uh, more services down this end. Leave some room for elder care and child care, that sort of thing. We don't need schools because we've got our Hadron Collider in. I think uh, we could go around and delete schools. But uh, having areas without schools seems daft, seems unrealistic. You know, the game would let us away with it. Educating all the citizens in the city with a Hadron Collider, but doesn't seem to make much sense, so I think we'll leave the existing schools that we've got in, but not be too concerned about putting schools into new areas of housing and things. So I'm going to look for the maximum level of buildings. We still have maximum level buildings that are small. For some of the bigger ones, threes and fours, you can fill in the spaces with twos and things. I would leave a one, so I don't want that. Yeah, I just want twos, threes, and fours. Don't really like buildings that are on the uh, one square. filled in, fill in all these gaps. Let's see, we've still got plenty of room over the other side of the road. Where we can pop in service buildings if we need them. Get this as full as possible. Still got a few complaints around the city. These will probably complain that we don't have low skilled workers. I think after a while that just uh, resolves itself. I think they give up looking for low skilled workers after a while when they've got 100 CVs on their desk from people who are fully educated. I think they just give in and accept uh, a worker there. Because those icons seem to disappear. Their tourism, lacking tourists. That's uh, another issue. But we can keep changing over our tourist areas, adding more unique buildings in to replace them if we can. We've trimmed back our areas a lot, but we could do a little bit more trimming if we need to. We want to get rid of all the complaints. Every single complaint I gone before I'm done. And I can say the my mission is complete. There's no point in having a, a great big city if it doesn't work properly. And there's complaints. there. Just filling in all these gaps. I do like the look of these buildings already. Even from here. We'll get the game running. We can have a look. Maybe set up a, a cinematic swoop. Have a good look at the area. See if we can spot the buildings. We've got a good range in. Should be able to see how they all look. So that's it pretty much filled out. We'll trim back the area. Get it running. Watch our numbers jump up. Our population growth number should uh, skyrocket, hopefully. As all these people flood in to occupy this new housing. So we'll come back next time, we'll pick up where we left off, take a good look at what we've done. Till then, take it easy, I'll see you in the next one.